Okay, Taurus, welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out what the message is for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you birth them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time where you felt guided to the channel by spirit. Just um, let it be noted. This is not tarot. This is intuitive channeled messages, which is a lot more accurate than tarot. So please don't confuse what I'm doing with tarot. It kind of discredits my Claire audience abilities. And the other clairs that I use to channel a message. Anyone can read tarot cards, but not everyone can channel. All right, let's do this. What's happening, spirit, with um what am I doing? Taurus. <laughs> Sorry, I just had like a mental blank. What is happening with Taurus? Hmm. This energy just came through in the Sagittarius reading, I think. Okay, so Taurus, I feel like you're in the energy of the gorilla because you are thinking and thinking and thinking and contemplating and overthinking about somebody. There's someone on your mind or something on your mind and it's like a situation or a person is on your mind and I feel like you just want peace. Now, this can be reversed. Um, usually, the messages are reversed. I don't really la label you know, one party, the Taurus. You guys can use your intuition and guess which one you are, but this is a message for Taurus people. Okay, so this um, person on this side of the connection, this gorilla, is really overthinking a certain situation and they would like peace. They would like to apologize so i feel like there's been like a bit of self-reflection going on with this person because they're in their head they're overthinking the situation and they can't stop thinking about it and it's so much to the point where this person is is contemplating yeah they're they're, they're taking time out from friends right now they're sitting in solitude and they're really self-reflecting on what happened between you and them if you're the cross watcher so i feel that this is a a very strong and powerful person you know they are like the spirit animal the gorilla because the gorilla could you know really come at you aggressively they could tear you up and they could really hurt you but this is someone who's you know not choosing to be aggressive or violent or negative they're choosing to be peaceful so you're dealing with someone quite powerful here who's self-reflecting and they would like peace with you because they don't want to hurt you they don't want any more drama they don't want to fight anymore so it's a it's an energy of someone who's like waving the white flag you know that they're feeling quite peaceful they they don't want any conflict There was a few cards that were together there. So I feel like um, the reason why this person wants peace with you is because I feel like you're very pure. So I feel like you are someone who is very innocent and pure. And they're kind of self-reflecting on how they treated someone who's so innocent and pure and sweet. I do feel that this person's quite guilty over how they treated you. It's like, why did I treat that person so badly? They're very sweet. They're very pure. They're very innocent. Why did I behave like that? Why did I hurt this person? You know, what is wrong with me? And they're self-reflecting. They're like, why did I do that to someone who's so sweet? Someone who's so kind? Someone who's so innocent? What What is wrong with me? I'm a monster. I'm just like, yeah, someone's like kind of feeling like a bit of a monster. Like a gorilla is a very violent type energy. So this could have been someone who could have been violent or aggressive towards you. And they're kind of reflecting now, seeing themselves as a bit of a monster. And I'm just getting, yeah, this like monster energy. This is the feminine energy that's coming through now. She's the butterfly. So I feel like this is your energy here, you, the pure person. So you're coming up as a spirit animal of the butterfly because you're quite gifted and intuitive. So this card here says the soul and it's a bit of a gypsy soul type energy. 
So I feel like you are someone who's very intuitive and very gifted. And I feel like you could kind of see this, this person here has a shadow side that's quite dark. It's quite violent. They had a temper. I feel like it's someone who has a temper. It's a masculine energy who has a really toxic shadow side, who's quite violent, um, who's quite um, intimidating, who has a temper. And I feel like they're self-reflecting on how they, they handled you when they last saw you because you're very innocent and you're very soft and you're very sweet. And this person just kind of went off the rails and treated you toxically. It's like uh, someone who hides their shadow side, someone who hides that they're violent. And this person's actually in deep self-reflection because you're very sweet, you're very pure, you're very innocent. And it's like you intuitively knew with this butterfly energy that this person has a dark side and you could sense that they had a temper. You could sense that they had a dark side. And I feel like maybe you protected yourself from this. Let's see. <laughs> and just to confirm it, <laughs> you intuitively knew this person was dark you knew that they had a shadow side like the the butterflies all about see how she can see deeper so it's like this person here um is very 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 aggressive and violent right and they're very strong but they hide this side of themselves and i feel like you kind of had this feeling here butterfly that this person you know if you if you triggered their their temper there was this shadow side that could come out and they could be quite destructive. I feel like this is a very destructive masculine energy, like so destructive and he's very aggressive. So gorillas are very aggressive animals. So he is feeling quite peaceful right now, but it's like, you know, with a gorilla, they can get very aggressive if they're triggered or if they're provoked. So I feel like this, and as you can see, there's a mask here. So this masculine energy masks that they're violent, masks that they have a temper, masks that they have a shadow side. And I feel like he just went off the handle at you and you're quite pure. So I feel like he's self-reflecting because you didn't do anything to warrant his behavior. And I feel like you're quite intuitive and you, you sensed he had this darkness, that there was a shadow side, this temper, this controlling behavior. This is like a violent man and you had this feeling, your guides, your intuition, um, everything in your body was telling you this person was dark and you may not have been on the receiving end of his temper before, but you knew and you could sense that, you know, if you stepped one foot out of line, he might hit you, he might abuse you, he might um, get violent with you. So I feel like you were a little bit on edge. You're like, oh my God, I know this person it's like you were kind of like, oh, my God, I'm dating Ike Turner. And at any minute you knew that he could reveal that side of himself where he would hit you, where he would abuse you, where he would be very toxic and you were just kind of on edge. You're like, I know that this darkness and this aggressive gorilla is hiding under there. And if I do one thing that he doesn't like, he is going to attack me. And you didn't want to be on the receiving end of his temper. So that's kind of where the energy lies. So let's see a little bit more. So this violent gorilla is really self-reflecting on how they treated someone who's very pure, who's very innocent, who's very sweet. So let's see what else wants to come through the messages. I just felt like I needed to shuffle them again and lay them out because I want to see what comes through. Hmm. Assessing. <laughs> so I feel like you've been assessing this person and watching them for a while and you were just really um, observing their behavior because I feel like you sense that there was this violent side to them underneath and you were like, Okay, I'm going to look for clues to see if my intuition is correct because I feel like sometimes you doubt your intuition, little butterfly. It's like you get these little downloads, like see all these little butterflies here. You get these little downloads from spirit and these messages and your spirit guides were saying, okay, 
Uh, be careful. This person is violent. This person has a temper. This person is very controlling. And this person is basically Ike Turner, which is Tina Turner's ex-husband. So Tina Turner's ex-husband used to bash her when he was drunk. Um, and you had these messages and warnings from spirit. So your spirit guides were fully cloaking you in light, protecting you, guiding you on this journey. And you kind of sense that this person was toxic. So I feel like you're watching them and you're waiting for the right moment to either, you know, end this relationship or just see if this person's gorilla aggressive side was going to come out. So that's where the situation lies. Let's find out a little bit more. Fear. Yeah. So I feel like you were scared of this person's shadow side. I feel like your intuition was like really heightened and I feel like you were like, oh my God, I'm dealing with someone really dark. I'm dealing with someone really toxic. I am dealing with Ike Turner. I don't want to be dating Ike Turner. I don't want to deal with this person. Like if I do one thing wrong and, and they don't have control and I stand up for myself, you know, I know this person is going to unleash upon me and I don't want to be on the receiving end of that temper. Like you've got a huge gorilla. Like, would you get in a cage with a gorilla? No, you wouldn't. And you're just like watching this unfold. Like, all right, I'm in a cage with a gorilla right now. And this gorilla is acting quite chilled out and peaceful. But if I, if I don't do what the gorilla says, this gorilla is going to attack me. This gorilla is going to get violent this gorilla is going to get really aggressive and i do not want to be in close proximity for this of this gorilla so i feel like after assessing them and observing their behavior you realize that there was a dark shady gorilla who's violent and toxic underneath this person's mask And I feel like you are very sweet, you're very innocent, you're very pure. And you're like, okay, we are not a match. <laughs> I'm a butterfly <laughs> and that's a gorilla. Like, I can't defend myself against a gorilla if it attacks me. I'm just this cute little innocent little butterfly that... Um, you know, needs to fly away to freedom, that needs to escape this cage because this is not good. I think you are very, very, very much like scared of what you saw because I feel like you're very gifted. You saw into this person's soul and you saw deeper and you were like, wow, this person has a lot of issues. They have a lot of unhealed trauma. They are, are literally hiding the fact that they have a crazy temper, that they're violent, that they that they would hit me given the opportunity. And I feel like you kind of were just scared that one day this person would just snap unexpectedly. And I feel like you didn't trust this person because you saw the darkness, the darkness that this person has. And you're like, no, nah, I can't do it. I can't be around somebody who could just fly off the handle one day who would probably hit me who becomes Ike Turner and I don't want to be in a domestic violence relationship so I feel like you were just like no nah. after after a careful assessment you determined your intuition was correct and you just wanted out of the relationship you didn't want to be dating Ike Turner we have protection so I feel like what happened here is you decided to protect yourself. You decided to break up with this person. You decided to end the relationship. You decided, you know, it's not worth the risk of being around someone so so dark. This person, they have a really evil shadow, shadow side. And most domestic relationships end in one partner killing the other, one partner beating the other person up, one partner losing their temper aggressively and hurting the other person and you decided it's not worth living 
you know, in constant fear that maybe you, you'd have to tiptoe, like you're dealing with somebody that you'd have to tiptoe around and you're this beautiful little free spirited butterfly. And I feel like this person wanted to cage you. They wanted to control you. They wanted to keep you stuck. They wanted to keep you trapped. And you're like, I'm a butterfly. I can't be caged. I'm very pure and innocent. And I, you know, I'm not going to do anything to anger this gorilla, but I'm also not going to be controlled. I'm a butterfly and I'm, I'm going to fly free. So I feel like this might be an air sign. This might be the a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius because I'm getting strong air energy where you're just like a beautiful free spirit. And you're like, I won't be caged. I won't be controlled and I won't be contained. And I need to protect my energy. I need to protect myself. So I'm going to leave that there and take this over to the extended reading now, Taurus, and get a little bit more from the gorilla and find out why they're self-reflecting because I feel like they know who they are and they must have got very violent or angry with someone very pure, which is the butterfly. And the butterfly kind of sensed, you know, this person is dark. This person is evil. And they didn't want to live in fear. They didn't want to be in a toxic relationship where they were scared and they had to tiptoe around this gorilla. They didn't want to be in a cage with a gorilla. They felt trapped. This is a butterfly who wants to fly free. They don't want to be caged in, you know, in a situation with a gorilla where one day the gorilla is cool and calm. The next day the gorilla is aggressive. So that's how this, this butterfly felt about the gorilla. They were like... This person is dark. This gorilla is going to attack me. I don't want to be on the receiving end of this. They're violent. They're aggressive. And I'm kind of scared for my safety. And I need to get out of this and protect my energy. So that's the situation. I'm going to leave that there. If you're resonating with this message, Taurus, the link is below in the description box to the extended reading. You can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access the reading individually. Or you can join my Patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate. I really appreciate your energy exchange. Um, keeps me on YouTube full time. And in the extended reading, I'm going to be using Brian Froud's fairy deck and the um, Kim Krantz Spirit Animal Oracle cards. So I'll see you over there. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye, Taurus.